Hey everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you each of Keurig's entries into the world of single serve coffee. And we're going to talk about the differences between them and what each one can offer for you when you're looking to add one to your own at home coffee shop. The reason for this is that Keurig definitely has the most variety and options and pot options and all these kinds of different things that can make it a little bit confusing when you go out to choose a machine to add to your own at-home coffee shop. So I'm going to help to uh, clear that up for you guys a little bit. Let's dive in and talk about these machines. I have the Keurig View V700, uh, which is a great multi-use machine. I have in the center here the Keurig Revo R500. This is an espresso machine and only an espresso machine. And then I have my old standby, which is the Keurig B70, which uses K-Cups. So I'm going to talk about all the different options between these and just give you a little bit of comparison so you can make an informed decision when you go to add one of these to your own at-home coffee shop. Let's dive in and talk about them. Okay, so I have all three of my Keurig machines here and I have a number of different capsules and pods and things surrounding me. And this is why we wanted to do this video because this gets a little bit confusing. One of the things that's always gotten me a little bit about Keurig is that they are always introducing a new capsule type. There's, there's, there was originally there was the K-cup, and this is a reusable K-cup right here. We have some regular K-cups right here. So originally there was the K-cup, and then as we moved on, we had the View Pack. The View Pack is specific for View machines, and the K-cup is specific for K-cup machines. And then now we have a third entry in the world of Keurig, and that's the Revo Pack. And these only work with Revo machines by Keurig. So it's, it's a little bit frustrating from time to time, but as long as you can make a decision about what you want out of your machine, you're probably not going to have a problem with that. So let's talk about features between these machines. Let's start off with old standby, uh, the K-cup based Keurig machines. Now K-cups, probably the best thing about K-cup based machines still is that you're going to get the absolute, usually most variety of beverages that you can make with a K-cup based machine. You get hot coffees, hot teas, you get iced teas, iced coffees, and uh, specialty drinks and things like that, you don't really get milk-based drinks. It's one thing to keep in mind. You don't really get espresso out of K-cup machines. But for an overall variety, the K-cup machines probably have the most, and they also have some of the best brew-your-own options. This is an Echo Brew right here. It allows you to brew your own coffee using your K-cup machine. There's also the My K-cup option and a number of other different ways to make your own coffee with a K-cup machine. So for variety, it really is a great way to go. Um, let's talk about the View, which is sort of like the next level of Keurig machines. And View packs are cool, and they come in a number of different varieties. Again, you get iced teas, coffees, hot uh, options for both of those. Finally now, there is an option to make your own coffee using a View machine. And uh, so this right here is a solo fill, but it's specifically for the Keurig View. Now, on the Revo R500, uh, it is the most limited, really, when you come right down to of all the machines. And the reason for that, it's just an espresso machine. Uh, it's really easy to operate, and it uses the Revo pods, but they only make espresso. So it's the most limited, but definitely makes a great shot of espresso because you can't make espresso with these two machines. You just can't. There's not an option for it. And so it depends really on what it is you want. If you drink more espresso than you do coffee, you're probably going to want to look in R500 if you like a more... Uh, if you like a bigger variety of beverages, you're going to want to look at a K-cup machine or a View cup based machine. So this is where things start to get a little bit more complex when we're talking about all those different pods. And the reason for that is that depending on the type of beverage that you want, you have to approach making that beverage in different ways. So for instance, on the View machines, you can make milk based drinks. And you do that using a View pack that's filled with a powdered milk option. Um, Whereas you don't have any K-cups that are milk K-cups in the K-cup family. And then here in the Revo family, you can actually make your own real froth milk using the frothing pitcher that's attached to the Revo R500. But again, it can only make espresso. So this is where things get a little bit crazy because you can do those milk drinks on the view but it's not really real milk. I mean, it's, the powder is derived from real milk, but it's not a liquid milk. It gets turned into liquid by the machine. K-cup machines just simply can't do that. Revo can make its own uh, actual real froth milk, but 
the Keurig K-cup machines are going to have, again, the most variety of what you can do because the patent is now expired on the K-cup design. So you can just find tons of different types of K-cups from so many different manufacturers that I can't even name them all, but to name a few, we've got Starbucks, we have Green Mountain, we have Hevalia, and all kinds of different coffee manufacturers who are making K-cups now because that patent is expired. So you get a lot of different options with the K-cup. And it's also time tested. The K-cup has been in use for quite some time, and so we're all kind of used to it. We know how easy it is to use. Overall, all these machines are pretty easy to use. If you want to check out brewing with them and all the different features, you're going to want to check out our in-depth videos for each one because we talked about these machines a lot, and there's just too much for us to cover for brewing today, unfortunately. So which of these machines is right for you? Well, you really need to think about what kind of beverage you want when you come right down to it. If you really like espresso, and you mostly just want to drink espresso, and you want it done in a very classic fashion, the R500, the Revo, is going to be the way to go. If you really like a large variety of drinks, you're going to want to check out a K-cup machine because that is going to be really offering the most variety when it comes to how many different types of K-cups uh, you can actually gain access to. And the cost of these machines and the ability to use K-cups really varies. And it starts very low. You can actually use manual brewing options, which we talked about here in aromacup.com, to brew a K-cup going all the way up to the high-end K-cup brewers. So there's a lot of different options. And then if you like a good variety, but you don't mind being a little more restricted when it comes to the pod types and uh, some of the coffees and beverages available to you, the view machine is going to be the way to go. It's a lot more specialized. It has an LCD screen. It's very programmable and various things like that. But view packs are just still limited. There's only so many manufacturers for them, so many beverage types, things like that. So again, what you need to think about if you go to get one of these machines, and if you want to check out the links in the description of our video to find out ways that you can get these machines, if you're going to do that, you really do want to consider what you're going to be drinking the most, essentially. Think about that, and then you can use some of the points that I've outlined here to decide which machine would fit your own at-home coffee shop the best. So the bottom line is that there sort of is no major bottom line here, except for what it is that you really want out of your machine. So I hope that this has been useful, and again, if you really want to see these machines in depth and see all of their different features, check out our other videos here on aromacup.com, or if you'd like to talk to us about questions and comments with respect to these videos, get in touch with us in the comments of our video. Make sure to like us here on aromacup.com, subscribe to us, and join us at the website at aromacup.com. Talk to us about coffee and find out lots of information. We'll help you demystify the world of coffee. That's what we do best here at aromacup.com. I hope this has been useful to you guys, talking to you about all these different options from Keurig for brewing coffee in your own at-home coffee shop. I'm Brian, as always, and I thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next time, and take care. Hey everyone, I'm Brian with AromaCup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by AromaCup.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you each of Keurig's entries into the world of single-serve coffee, and we're going to talk about the differences between them and what each one can offer for you when you're looking to add one to your own at-home coffee shop. The reason for this is that Keurig definitely has the most variety and options and pot options and all these kinds of different things that can make it a little bit confusing when you go out to choose a machine to add to your own at-home coffee shop, so I'm going to help to uh, clear that up for you guys a little bit. Let's dive in and talk about these machines. I have the Keurig View V700, uh, which is a great multi-use machine. I have in the center here the Keurig Revo R500. This is an espresso machine and only an espresso machine.